Oh, so good morning. morning. Just want to say good morning, to everybody, and that's watching on Facebook. If you all could please do a quick introduction, but I don't want you to read do too much because we're gonna have to redo it again when we go live on air. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to work multiple screens here, you all. <laughs> all right, so we have the news and the weather, and then we'll be going live on air in about 30, 30 seconds. <laughs> and I'm Kabila, by the way, you all. <laughs> I was, I was right. trying to figure out how to pronounce your name. I was going to call you Miss Jones. That's fine. Or everybody calls me Q, so that's fine. Q, I can do Q, that. I like that. All right. Uh, can I can do that. And is it is it Shana Sh- Ray? Shana Ray? Shana Ray. Shana Ray. Okay, Shana Ray. Thank you. I, lo- I like that backdrop. We're posting that out there, too. Uh, that's, that's sweet. I figured that was the best way to do it for Facebook. Yep. Love it. <laughs> Um, and I'll, we make sure to post on our social media pages, but I will post again once we get off the call. This will be about 20 minutes. And so I'll make sure to post again once we get done on our Facebook and Instagram so people know what's happening. Okay, awesome. All right, so y'all ready to rock and roll? <laughs> Here we go. Well, 30, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> These talk beds, the way they're set up, I thought it was ready to go. All right, y'all on Facebook, I know you're wondering what's going on. We're going to get into the conversation in just a moment. Just hold tight. I promise you, you won't miss out on anything. We have some wonderful people here. They're in different cities, and they're all doing some wonderful things. But we're going to definitely get into that. Thank you all for tuning in, and please share this message. Those of you in Craig County, please pay attention. We're going to start at 3, 2, 1. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Community Conversations on KLEK 102.5 FM. I'm your host, Kobila Jones, and I have some very special guests with me today. There's a special event going on today. Even though it's raining in some areas, they're still out serving the community. So I'm going to go around, well, I'll say not around the room, (laughs) we'll go around and let everyone introduce themselves. And sorry, we're going to start with the ladies first. So in the top, Ms. Shana. Hi, um, my name is Shana Harvey. I work for Reform Inc. And I am really excited about this event today. All right, so, um, and we'll go back through the information. We'll let everybody introduce themselves. So, Ms. Melrita. Hi, I'm Melrita Johnson. I'm a licensed clinical social worker here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And I'm also the executive director of Reform Incorporated. All right, I know a young lady I need to connect with you. She's studying social work at UAPB Bring right her now. On. Bring her <laughs> on. All right. Bring All right. On. Um, is it Scott? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm Scott Hamilton. I'm with the uh, Urban League of the State of Arkansas, and we're just super excited about everyone in the communities that are uh, working with us to uh, do some neat, neat projects and take care of our people. All right, so we have a few shout outs already. Mr. Rico Carter, Shamal Carter says, Hey guys, I can't wait. Super excited. And hey, Mrs. Marley, Melrita. You can call me Mel. Okay. <laughs> Mel. All, right. <laughs> All right, so let's get started first. Let's talk about who Urban League is and what you do. How, how do you serve the community? <laughs> So yeah, the Urban League of the state of Arkansas, we're one of 90 affiliates across the country and a nonprofit organization. Uh, we're one of the oldest civil rights and urban advocacy entities in the, in the country. Uh, been around about 110 years. Uh, the, the interesting history, the Urban League, the National Urban League was actually started by a gentleman from the Pine Bluff area. Uh, oh, okay. and so, so some rich history here in Arkansas. But yeah, the Arkansas affiliate, uh, we are statewide. And what we focus on is equity and equality uh, for all citizens. And the areas that we really uh, focus on is in health, education, housing, uh, social justice, and jobs. And so what we always work for is to try to find things to make sure that every Arkansan 
has access to the things that they need to thrive in their life. And so uh, we're just excited to be able to work uh, in this space. Right now we're working kind of in the food insecurity space. But again, the Urban League as an organization, uh, we touch a little bit of everything. So we encourage people, uh, go out to our website, learn more, and that's ulark.org, and, and join us. Um, uh, because again, if you're looking for an entity uh, that you can really get your hands into and really make an impact in your communities, we're that entity. Do you have any chapters or are there chapters all over Arkansas? Because I would love to find one right here in Craighead County. Yeah, absolutely. So here's kind of the way we're uh, situated. Again, like I said, we are a statewide organization. Uh, our main headquarters is here in Little Rock. Uh, we have a satellite office in Northwest Arkansas in Springdale. We also have a small satellite office in uh, Helena. Uh, but oh. the way we operate is that you can join from anywhere. There's no requirement that you know, have mm -hmm. to have a local affiliate our local chapter. But what we see too is a great opportunity for our young folks. We have what we call our young professionals group. I'm way outside of that. But if you're under 40, we consider you a YP. And it's a great network, particularly for college students to get engaged, really learn about things that are going on in our society. And Lord knows we got a lot of them right now. Yeah. What we try to do is you know find ways to collaborate uh, with other organizations that are doing great work out here, but it's a good chance for, in particular, our young folks to really learn uh, the skill of, of collaboration, organization, uh, really okay. identifying ways to attack issues in our community uh, as a group and not individual. So yeah, we strongly encourage anywhere you are in the state of Arkansas, just go to our website, ulark.org. Uh, we'd love for you to join us. It's only 60 bucks a year, best deal in the world, $5 a month. We got even got $5 a month program. But what it what does, that gets, you, that gets you engaged. That gets you our newsletters, our communications, that gets you to, it, to uh, being engaged with us. And what we really like about uh, our, our young folks in particular, and I'm gonna talk about our young folks because that's old folks, We've messed this world up for them. I'm, I hate to say it. So it's high time that we get them engaged and, and, and get them the tools and the resources and the access uh, to make this world work better for them. That's what we're about. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Scott. Uh, we're going to have to definitely set up another interview to talk about this more in detail. Let's do All it. Right. I love it. All right, Ms. Narita. Tell us about oh, Reform okay. and also Ms. Shana. Okay. So Reform Incorporated, we're an organization based out of Pine Bluff. It started in Forest City, Arkansas. That's originally where I'm from. Um, okay. We started in 2013. And so Mayor the Pastor moved to Pine Bluff and then I started uh, the organization down here in Pine Bluff. So we work with youth 10 to 29 to teach them okay. independent living skills and how to be leaders in the community. We deal with a lot of the same things that um, CEO Hamilton talked about. We deal with life skills, we deal with work skills, we deal with mental health. Uh, like I told you earlier, I'm a licensed clinical social worker. So being aware and being in tune with your mental health will uh, get you in tune with going further in life. Uh, yes, so uh, those are some of the things we do. Right now we have a few programs going on. Blaze Academy is one and then uh, Youth Move, Arkansas Youth Move is another one where we're partnered, uh, we're partnered with um, the national organization, Youth Move National, where we have the Arkansas chapter. So we cover all 75 counties. So we just got it this year. That was a blessing, even in the pandemic. Um, we were able to receive that chapter and reactivate it. So we're starting, um, that's why this was like a no brainer. Let's start getting out there. Let's start the work. Let's start paving the ground um, in all of these counties. All right. And so that's pretty much what we do. Shana, oh, wow. did I miss anything? No. <laughs> We have a lot of different programs within um, the umbrella of reform. We have okay. our youth academy, we have our resource hub, and of course, like she had stated, we have our cha our chapter of Youth Move Arkansas um, through our Blaze Academy, and we are very excited for the things that are coming for 2021 because we're going to be expanding beyond just the state of Arkansas, but actually on a national mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. I would definitely be watching out for you all, and we would love to have you back on to talk about all those things that are coming up. So let's go ahead and get into the event for today. Ms. Shana, tell us what's happening. I will be at our uh, Craighead County location, and okay. we will be providing food for the community. Um, there will be like ready-to-eat foods. Um, okay. We have we will have foods dropped off, and it will be a COVID-safe drive-through style. 
Um, all you don't need to bring identification or proof of anything. Uh, we'll have a sign in sheet just to keep track of everyone that's coming through, but we do not require any proof. Uh, and we will be providing food for um, the community. And if we have any that are left over or any uh, people that are unable to come, we will be actually delivering it to different areas around uh, Craighead County to make sure that our people in need are, are getting the resources that we have available for them. Okay, and we wanna let people know for Jonesboro, this is happening at 2114 North Church Street. Is What particular building is that? Or is that just it? The Crawley's Ridge right. Development Council. Okay, it's, it is part of the CRDC. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, it's one. It's one of their. It's one of the CRDC's buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's happening at eleven thirty. So, if Mr. Scott and Miss Marita, if you could tell us about the other locations, there's Jefferson County, Ashley County, and Lawrence County. So thank. This is all thanks uh, thanks to the Urban League um, reform is just the conduit to get it out. Um, so they're bringing a thousand, um, uh, CEO Hamilton, about a thousand meals to each county. Um, each person is able to get at least five meals. So that's giving them sustenance for at least a week. And um, so we'll be here at the Pine Bluff location. I was trying to figure out while she was talking, if I could figure out how to turn the camera around. Uh, so we are at... Uh, there you go. <laughs> here in um, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, we're right across the street from the Blue Sears building. If they can see it, we're right across yeah. the street from the Blue Sears building. And so um, our office is located, and we could never do this by ourselves. So we have the men of Kappa Alpha Psi here. They're here. Okay. That's right. Again, we have to be a community. <laughs> Uh, we have to tap into all our community resources. Y'all are alive. I, mean, I guess I should have told y'all that first. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so we have also enlisted the help of Phi Beta Sigma, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Omega Psi Phi, the Matrix, right. the Eastern Stars, um, NAUW. All of them are coming out today to try to help us. Churches, we have a couple pastors over there now. Churches coming out to just help us get this food out. So in Ashley County, um, Bishop uh, Danny Mays, he's going to um, be the conduit for all of those counties down there. Drew, Ashley, Cleveland, uh, Bradley, uh, who am I, Michiko, uh, they're all being delivered in Hamburg. And so okay. from there, he'll get them out to all the different counties and they're able to come in. It's like a central location. So that way it was easier for the trucks to drop it off in one central location. So I think they'll be there right. at 2.30. We're here at 9.30 and we already have, as you can see, we already have people lining up. Um, awesome. We already have people lining up. I'm sorry, someone tried to call me. <laughs> Can't figure out, turn the camera around. <laughs> so people are already lining up. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then in Lawrence County, it's gonna be in Imboden um, and that's at two o'clock p.m. So we want everyone to please uh, take part in this. Go volunteer. Are you still accepting volunteers at any of these locations? Absolutely. Uh, I, I was about to say, we never turn down help. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, take them off. Especially in the rain. <laughs> Look, put on your boots, your jacket, mm -hmm. your mask. Uh -huh. <laughs> Definitely <some> mask. <laughs> yeah, I usually, you see I'm down from them. I usually have my mask on, but since I was on this, you couldn't hear me with the mask on. Yeah. But we are practicing like in Jonesboro social distancing. So if you notice we have the tent set up so they can just come through drive through style, but they still have to sign up. You have to sign your name. Uh yeah. if you have five people in the car, uh that's fine. We just need you to sign the list and we'll give you 30 plates. It's just that simple. Yeah. Oh wow. So yeah. five plates per person. Per person, exactly. Yeah. Look, people, if you are in need of a meal, it's the end of the month, end of the mm -hmm. year. Look, don't be ashamed. Go out and get some meals for you, your family, whoever. Um, mm -hmm. I would ask Mr. Scott, what is this something that you've done before, or is this a new new event, or and how did it come about? So, Q, thanks. I appreciate that question. So, uh, like I said, you know, the, our organization, we've we've done these type of events and various things to impact our communities uh, for many years. 
this came about, this particular project that we're doing today in the, in the last few days came about through some of the CARES Act funding. We, we received about $450,000 in CARES Act dollars, but we had a short window to spend it. And, uh, and so what we did is we reached out to partners, community partners like we have today, and just fabulous. They got it. They understood it. This is the work they already do. This is how, this is how we make a difference in our, in our state, in our communities, is that we at the Urban League say, our job is to fight for funding, to fight for access. We got plenty of folks out there that do, do good work, so we're not trying to replicate anything. So what we're trying to do is find partners, and this will go on in, in, into 2021. What we're okay. seeing is that in our food insecurity space is that it's not an issue of food. There's food everywhere. There's food access. There's food in uh, food banks. We've got a great food bank network. We've got a great hunger relief alliance. We've got a great team of people out here that do this. But what we started seeing is logistics. How okay. do you get the food to the people? How do you get it down to the street level? And that's what we're starting to build and identify. What we want to start doing into 2021 and going forward is creating what we call nodes. Where literally we could take a a a, a shut down school, a uh, old restaurant. If it's got a kitchen in it, then we got a kitchen. Then we can identify five people in those communities that that know how to cook. You know, Miss Jenkins. You know, Miss Jenkins can cook. You know, the former cafeteria worker because she can cook or he can cook. Uh, someone that may have a shuttered restaurant. We want to bring them back to work. Put them in these kitchens. Get the food there, and then exactly what you're seeing do today we think can be done localized all over our state. So instead of us having big trucks driving down that may be a little late today because of the rain, that can be done right there in, in, in Jonesboro, right there in, in Pine Bluff, right there in Gurdon, smack over. You, you give me any town in our state, we can do this at a localized level. And what we believe that will do is to help get food to people in need much more quickly, much more efficiently. So that's what you're gonna see the Urban League doing going forward. So this particular project has been a great opportunity for us to learn, uh, to see what works, what doesn't work. And I'm gonna tell you, 90% of it worked. We got a few things that we're gonna do different, but at the end of the day, we've been feeding people. We're gonna feed almost 50,000 people in a week. Well, I would love to definitely partner with your KLEK rather. And yep. with Ms. Shana, since you're here in Cricket, are you stationed in Cricket County? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's please get together because I'm all about community service and connecting people with resources and things of that nature. And KLEK, we are a minority owned and operated radio station, community radio station. So this is what we do. This is what we're here for, is to help serve and help get the information out. So please let's continue this because I'm sure there will be more needs as the year as the next year which is in a few days goes on <laughs> absolutely so, that sounds wanna, fantastic all right i can't thank you all enough for the work that you do in the community uh good morning to kara maxwell and adrian everett i want to adrian is the one that gave us information so thank you adrian he's always keeping us up to date on things and everyone else in our adrian is my so go-to cue in Jonesboro, when I he's an alpha, I say, "Hey, I need the alpha." So you got him lined up. I appreciate that. All right, <laughs> Adrian is another one of my adopted nephews. So yeah, I love, <laughs> I love him. So we have about five, you know, six minutes. Um, any other information? I want each person to have their time to share any more information you would like to about your organization or what's happening today. Definitely want to remind people of the times and location. <laughs> Whoever wants to go first, I'll pick up. <laughs> Who wants to go well, first? I, I, I'll I'm let him go first. <laughs> look, I'm never shy of a, of a microphone. Uh, you know, one of the things that we really uh, look for, as I mentioned with the Urban League, is, is, is again, trying to uh, connect uh, folks. And I mean, this is fabulous. I mean, we're sitting here talking to folks uh, about a project all over the state. And these are the things that we keep saying is that we've got to uh, use more of our technology. We've got to use more of the resources. Uh, when we when we spend time with our legislators, and we're nonpartisan, so we, we don't care what party you're with, what we want is to make sure that we have legislators that do their job, that understand the issues, they understand the needs. And that's the thing, uh, Q, to your point, when you said, talk about joining, join us. And, and, and we want your money, we want your $5 a month, but more importantly, we want the access to you. We want to be able to pick up the phone, send you an email, send you a communication and say, hey, this is an issue that we think is, uh, is going on. We need that feedback. We need to understand from every corner of the state of Arkansas how people see issues. 
we were real heavy in the voting uh, space a few weeks, a few months back. Uh, we were at the polls. You may have seen some of the stuff we did around the state. Same kind of stuff. We were literally at the polling site pushing carts like we were airline attendants, giving people food, snacks, water. But what we learned is what people's concerns were, what they, what they were thinking about, why they were standing in that line voting. Many people voting for the first time. This is what we have to do as a state because we can make changes so that we don't have people living in abject poverty. We're one of the most impoverished states in the uh, country and we've got to fix that problem and we can. So that's one of the things that the Urban League is all about. Uh, I'm gonna be reaching out to reform big time because what you're talking about, we've got a whole program that we call BMOS that targets our young men that are, are 10 to 18. We've got to make sure we love these young men, that we teach them uh, the skills, teach them how to make decisions that can, at the end of the day, I hate to say it, save their lives. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm so excited about this call and of the many others that we're doing simply because we're making connections. Thank you. Just, Thank you. Thank you. That just excited me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, you don't speed down. I'm calling yeah. you today. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's funny that you say that because this year um, we're actually about to release Man Up, which is a program men accountable now for our, for understanding our position. And we're about wow. to start that this year. And it's for that age range up to 29. So okay. to partner with you all to do that, that would be fabulous. And so, so I forgot, um, I didn't forget, but I was trying to, I know we have short time, but even with the resource hub, it kind of started when coronavirus first hit. And then, okay. you know, right after that, the, the uh, hair, not hurricane, the uh, storm hit here in Pine Bluff. Right. So yep. me being a social worker, I'm like, at that time, the least I can do is sit on my couch and give people res resources, referrals to places who That's need right. it. So we put our um, number out there. We were like, hey, I don't care where you are in the state. We'll try to find some resources for you. And we were able to get a grant, a CARES grant through uh, Arkansas Community Foundation, where if you don't even have insurance, we'll do some mental health services for you. Uh, we have free Wi-Fi at the office. Um, we had funding for mileage, for food, for different things like that. So we've just been blessed. You know, we're not that old. Uh, we're not a hundred and something years old, but uh, <laughs> God has, has really um, uh, been moving us forward. And um, with Youth Move, we'll be having next year our first ever national youth conference uh, in partnership with Youth Move National. And then that summer, we're doing a leadership academy which again will be national. So we're just excited about that. We um, have partners like Pine Bluff Advertising and Promotion, uh, DHS, uh, Arkansas Minority Health Commission that's, mm -hmm. that's putting this together, that's helping us put this together to like be, a, we're going to different states to learn about government and things of that nature. And the kids will go into their communities and replicate what they see me do to learn more about government, learn how to use their voice, learn how to advocate, get the knowledge. Knowledge is power. If they don't have the knowledge, how do you expect them to know how to execute it, how to want to be better, what steps to take, who do I talk to? Just making a phone call. Those are things that we're right. trying to teach the kids how to do, how to advocate for themselves in the right way. Well, I'm going to be calling Hey, Shana, Shana Ray, tell me what we need to do with you in Jonesboro. <laughs> All right, no. so we've got about two minutes left, so uh, I just want to recap the different places that we're hosting these events today, just to kind of sum it up. We've got uh, in Jefferson County in Pine Bluff at 807 West 6th Street, and we'll be about 930 when we'll be out able to deliver the food. In Ashley, we're at 212 Foot Street, um, and Craighead County at 2114 North Church Street. Then Lawrence County, we have two locations. We have 501 to 520 Circle Drive and then 502 to 521 uh, Main Street in Imboden. And if you guys need anything, uh, we'll go ahead and post our contact information down mm -hmm. below uh, so that you can reach out to make sure that if we're needing to deliver food, we can get that taken care of as well. Yeah, they can um, send us an email to reform Arkansas spelled all the way out at yahoo.com. And they can also visit our website to learn more about reform at www reform inc arkansas spelled out dot org all right i'll make sure to get this information posted on the klek page um so that people can definitely contact you all for future and if they services. have the flyer they can they can get the information off the flyer even for the urban league they yes. have their their website that um ceo has you can see it, but you know you can't see it uh, but I have the flyers, so I'll make sure yeah. to post it okay. um, once we get done. I can't thank you all enough for joining us today. 
um, this you know ties into Kwanzaa. It's about collective work and responsibility, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. unity, giving back. You know, what's your purpose? How are you bridging these gaps? How are you feeling the needs of the people? So happy Kwanzaa to everybody. That's thank right. you so thank much you. Happy Kwanzaa to for you. doing this. Um, thank you everyone for listening. Stay tuned for a Kwanzaa message and a Black History moment. This is Kelly K, 102.5 FM Community Conversations. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So we're still live. I'm going to stop the live, but I hope everyone enjoyed this conversation. Take notes. Yes. Go back and watch if you missed. And um, we'll definitely be keeping in touch with you all. <laughs> hey, Q, will you, will you send out the video link? Mm-hmm. Well, it's on the KLEK. Oh, I got it. Okay. On the, on I the got Facebook you. page. On the KLEK. <laughs>